buy a new car and stimulate the economy. For some, that, that may soon be a possibility. There's a new government program rolling out later this week that aims to also get less fuel-efficient cars off the road and is offering some incentives to do just that. Fox 11's Mark Leland has multiple views of the program. The auto industry is bracing for a boost in sales thanks to the federal government's car allowance rebate system, or CARS program, better known as cash for clunkers. Yeah, I think it's motivating some people who uh, may not have be buying a new car to buy one because they're getting the extra $3,500 or the extra $4,500. The program goes into effect Friday and is intended to stimulate sales. And judging from the pre-sold signs on about a dozen cars at Lemieux Toyota in Ashwaubenon, it's working. Cash for Clunkers program is just uh, even more business, so it's, it's been great. But getting money flowing again is only part of the bipartisan federal plan by offering the financial incentive to trade in older, less fuel-efficient cars for new ones. It's going to be good for business. It's good for our jobs, good for our national security as we use less foreign sources of energy, and it's also good for our environment to get these uh, gas closures off the road. Here's how the deal works. You must trade in a vehicle manufactured within the last 25 years. It must average 18 miles per gallon or less. It must be in drivable condition and have been insured and registered to the same owner for the past year. The improvement in fuel economy with the new vehicle you pick out determines whether you get a rebate of $3,500 or $4,500. It was about the right time for us to, to buy a car, and uh, consequently that incentive is, is a pretty good deal. Richard Jan is no longer putting off buying a more fuel-efficient car. He's trading in a clunker truck, and with the rebate, could pay just more than $10,000 for a new car. I mean, this is like buying a car with a, a 1970s price. All new foreign and domestic car brands qualify for the program. The only restriction is the cost of the new car that you're buying. It has to be $45,000 or less. This Touareg from Volkswagen costs $52,000, so it does not qualify. The program runs through November 1st or until the $1 billion in funding lasts, which some dealers tell us could go fast. In Ashwabit on Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Now, charities that count on old car donations like Rawhide Boys Ranch in our area near New London say they will have to wait and see what impact the Cars for Clunkers program has on them. Rawhide's executive director does say that many of its donated cars have fuel standards too high to even qualify for the rebate. 